the safe fade, TS7000, mobile telescopic crane load moment indicator. The safe aid TS7000 human machine interface console, commonly referred to as the load moment, or safe load indicator. The safe aid TS7000 system is an industry proven safe load indicator, and safe aid is a market leader in safety control systems for mobile telescopic and lattice cranes. The 7 inch touchscreen console is located inside the operator's cab and provides all the safety and load chart parameters, or rated capacities of the specific crane. From here, the operator will select, and interact with the system. The system will warn the operator, should he approach a potentially dangerous condition, or overloading of the crane. The system monitors various other sensors on the crane as well. The rope deflector, or line rider. A rope deflector is commonly used when the crane is old, and fitment of pressure sensors, or transducers, is not an option. The winch rope, or line, runs through a series of three pulleys on the unit, with a load cell located inside the middle pulley. The rope exerts a force on the pulley and load cell, and this provides a load signal back to the TS-7000 system. The length and angle cable reeling drum. Consisting of a housing, spring-loaded cable drum, with a measuring cable, or boom length cable, length sensor, angle sensor, slip ring, and usually a circuit board for signal interpretation. The cable reel is mounted on the side of the crane boom, and monitors length of the boom, angle of the boom, and signals from the boom tip from various sensors. Included are the signals from the anti-two block switches. All signals are carried through the boom length cable, to the cable reel, and then interpreted by the system. Depending on the boom length, and boom angle, a radius is then calculated, and the system will allow a certain load to be lifted at this exact radius, as per the crane manufacturer's specification, and rated capacities. The M400 Central CPU, or motherboard. All the various components, and sensors, of the TS7000 system terminate at the central motherboard. The board is the main controlling unit of the system, receiving inputs to the TS7000, and sending voltages, and output signals to the lights and control valves of the crane. The R400 Relay Control Board On more complex, or advanced cranes, the TS7000 system may require more relay outputs than is standard on the M400 motherboard. Certain crane functions are controlled by the safe load indicator, such as, the boom telesequencing, the cutoff valves as well as corrective action functions. Depending on the number of outputs the specific mobile crane requires, will determine if R400 relay board may be required. The anemometer, or wind speed measurement device. An anemometer may be required, and is actually highly recommended for mobile cranes of all sizes. Wind is the second largest contributor to crane accidents worldwide. The anemometer is connected at the boom tip, with the wind cups, or vanes, above the boom head, even when elevation of the boom occurs. They may be either wireless, or, wired, and connect into the TS-7000 system, hereby enhancing the safety of the crane. The speed can then be viewed by the operator of the crane on the TS-7000 screen, in the desired or selected units of measure, for example, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, or meters per second. If the anemometer is hardwired, the signals are transferred via the boom length cable, back to the cable reeling drum, and then, to the central CPU. 
In most cases, the wind speed data is logged by the system, and reporting of wind speeds to an onboard USB flash drive is standard, and available for historic viewing. The anti-2 block, and counterweight. The anti-2 block switch is fitted at the tip of the boom, to the winch line, main and, or, auxiliary, to prevent the hook block from being pulled into the pulleys, and boom head. Effectively, once the switch is activated, the safe load indicator will warn the operator, and in most cases, the winch up function will be arrested, or stopped, on activation of the switch. The counterweight is attached to the anti-2 block switch, by means of a chain pulling the switch down in normal operation. If the operator of the crane winches up, and the hook block reaches the counterweight, the switch then activates, now in the up position, and the signal is then returned to the computer, warning the operator of the error, or issue. The pressure sensors, or pressure transducers, A pressure sensor, or transducer, is a device used for pressure measurement of liquids, more specifically, hydraulic oil. It generates a signal as a function of the pressure imposed, usually millivolts or milliamps. In crane applications, they are used to monitor the pressure on the boom cylinder, more specifically, rod, and, piston side pressure, to produce a load output, or reading on the load indicator in the operator's cab of the crane. The more the lifted load on the hook, the more pressure is exerted on the sensors, producing a difference in the signals back to the safe ATS 7000 load moment indicator. The pressure readings are calibrated to known test weights at the time of installation, producing accurate lifted load readings, when in operation. External beacon, or signaling lights. Weatherproof LED beacons are ideal visual indicators for a variety of applications. The lights are good indicators for other personnel on site such as the riggers, of the state of operation of the crane. Warning lights are usually mounted on the cab of the crane, and include green, or normal operation, amber, pre-warning the operator, and lastly, red, signaling either an error, or 100% loading, or an overload condition. Leading manufacturers of load systems since 1983. We know load. Alec Mech is the original equipment manufacturer. All safe aid products are manufactured under strict ISO 9001 2015 quality controls. Compliances International Organization for Standardization, 10245-1 International Organization for Standardization, 10245-2, of 2014, Edition 2, including Amendment 1, 2015, 07, 15 British Standard, 7262, of 1990 British Standard 7121 of 2000 American Society of Mechanical Engineers B30.5 of 2018 Occupational Safety and Health Act 85 of 1993 South African National Standard 19 of 2007 edition 1.1 South African National Standard 61-1 of 2009 edition 2 South African National Standard, 578-2, of 2008, Edition 1.